Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My dear students, today we will study some genetics and systems of breeding in livestock. So, we will go through some basic genetics. Our body is made up of cells. Cells have a command center called nucleus. Nucleus has thread-like structures called chromosomes. Chromosomes are made up of DNA and histone proteins. DNA, as you know, is the deoxyribonucleic acid and it is genetic material that contains instructions in each cell of organisms. A gene is a part of a length of DNA that goes for a specific protein. So this is all about the basic stuff you know. So let's look at our animals, what kind of genetics they have. So usually animals have diploid number of chromosomes, this which is called 2N. Uh, you might have heard in, in, in plants they have more than 2N, 3N, 4N, 5N, but for animals we are okay with 2N, diploid number of chromosomes. Cattle have 60, river buffalo has 50, swam buffalo 48, horse 64, donkey 62, swine 38, Cat 38, dog 78, fowl is also 78, goat is 60, sheep 54, camel 74. So you need to remember these chromosome numbers sometime we do ask in exams. So what are different breeding systems which we use in uh, animals? The first one is inbreeding. Inbreeding is mating of related animals or simply mating of relatives. For example, a father and daughter mating is extreme cases of inbreeding. Similarly, mother and son mating it is also inbreeding. Cousin mating, brother sister mating, these are our examples of inbreeding. What inbreeding does? It increases homozygosity because animals are, are related so they receive similar genes from their male parent as well as from their female parents. So offspring becomes homozygous and this is usually not good in domestic animals. Inbreeding depression, we call it as inbreeding depression. It results in reduced fertility, slower growth rates, and there are more chances of getting sick, disease, higher mortality, more deaths will occur. Therefore, farmers try to avoid mating related animals or mating very related animals. We cannot uh, avoid inbreeding, but we can uh, always minimize the effects of inbreeding. Second uh, breeding system is crossbreeding. This is uh, mating of animals from two breeds two different breeds you can say for example saival cow with a dhani bull or a holstein bull so this is called cross breeding like in our human races we uh, we a person can get married in the same caste or in a different caste so when it goes in a to a different caste it becomes cross breeding Normally, breeds are chosen that have complementary traits that have enhanced the offspring's economic value. Usually, we uh, we select uh, some. There should be some features in male, some features in female. Both breeds should have specific characters, which we will try to unite in their offsprings. So, what crossbreeding does? It results in heterosis or hybrid vigor. Uh, it increases heterozygosity because both breeds are different genetically so they they increase heterosis and heterosis occurs when offsprings perform better than the average of their parents for example if average growth rate of parents was 500 gram per day and offspring is growing as 700 grams per day so 200 gram per day is better performance by offspring is due to heterosis or hybrid vehicle. Therefore, uh, for example, in beef cattle, 
In the developed world, most of the commercial beef comes from crossbred animals because crossbred animals they grow better than their uh, average of their parents. So breeding systems continue outcrossing. This is another method where animals they are from the same breed but they are not related. So when these animals are mated, this is called outcrossing. Outcrossing helps to overcome inbreeding depression. For example, we come across an inbred animal affected by inbreeding. So we will try to mate it with a non-relative or distantly related animal. Uh, so this would call outcrossing. Back crossing, it is mating of a crossbred animal F1 with one of its parents. So, if we mate A breed with B breed and then we get F1 and if we mate F1 with one of its parents, for example either A or B, this is called back crossing. It is useful in genetic studies for isolating or separating out certain characteristics in a related group of animals or plants. So line breeding it is another method of breeding. In this it is a repeated back crossing to one outstanding ancestor so that it country, its contribution to the progeny becomes more. So what we do is we continuously cross breeding uh, back cross the offspring to one of its outstanding ancestors. It could be its parent, it could be its grandparent. So we usually use its semen to increase the blood of that animal in this line. So this is called line breeding. We try to develop a relationship with that specific animals. Usually we get such animals from a, a big fair. The animal is winner. It has produced a lot of milk. It has uh, won a beauty competition. So people try to breed that bull or animal with their cows. So this becomes a line breeding. <coughs> Another breeding system is grading up. So the practice of breeding in which bulls of the exotic breed are mated with non-descript cows and their offsprings from generation to generation. So what we do, do we get non-descript desi animals which do not belong to any breed. So we get those cows and we breed them with some exotic breed and we get their offsprings we breed those offspring again with the same exotic breed and we continue for one two three four five six generations after five or six generations the offsprings become very similar not exactly similar but very similar to the that exotic breed so this is called grading up. We need, we want to increase, increase performance of uh, those uh, non-descript animals. So one of the example happened in Western Europe around 1970 when local black and white cattle were mated with Holstein Frisian bulls from North America. So they mated their black and white cows with the bulls from North America. North America is Canada, USA, Mexico. So mostly this would be USA and Canada. So they bought bus bulls from them and they mated it with their <laughs> cows and that resulted in present Holstein Friesian breed in Europe. This is called grading up. We need to grade up or genetically improve our breed by mating with a foreign breed. Another method is crisscrossing. In this system two breeds are mated and the resulting female offsprings are mated to one of the breeds. In the following generations female are bred to the opposite breed of their sire. So this is a bit complicated. You can get it from this figure. We are breeding a breed A with breed B. We get kids progeny and then we made this progeny with bull B we get progeny then we made this progeny with bull A then we get progeny and then we made this with bull B and so on this is called two breed rotational crossbreeding or crisscrossing so we will maintain heterosis 
for example here we have 32% A and 68% B for example <coughs> so this is uh, usually used in beef cattle crossing criss crossing another method is species crossing this is height of crossbreeding species crossing mating between two different species such as donkey and horse and we get mules you know mules are created by mating a female horse stallion and a male donkey jack so horse have strength donkey are intelligent so we combine both traits in their kids but mules are unable to reproduce with other mules uh, because mules uh, get 36 uh, 32 chromosomes from its mother and 31 from its father so during meiosis the 63 chromosomes are unable to pair off evenly thus making the mule incapable of mating with other with another mule so mules are fertile every time you want mule you need to breed a horse with a duck so these are a few uh, breeding systems which we usually use in animal breeding uh, if you have any questions you can come up with uh, on whatsapp or any other source thank you for your attention allah hafiz